Hi everyone, it is uh, 11.30 a.m. here on the East Coast, and uh, you know, when I have a story that can affect millions, I am uh, a little bit uh, perplexed myself on how exactly I'm going to be uh, putting the story out. Um, I just put on my iPad, just looking at news, and I was listening to some podcasts, and then this story pops up. Um, it says, new bird flu strain, which is the H7N1, which has killed a few people in China. And um, it's spreading to, uh, I believe it was Taiwan, another person died. Um, now a uh, an article just came out. Actually, it's a video I'm going to let you listen to. It says, new bird st flu strain shows signs of drug resistance. Now I'm gonna let you listen to this, and then it's gonna I'm gonna follow up with an actual article that uh, that this strain of bird flu could be one of the quote unquote deadly flu strains. Okay, so first of all, this is the video, or you'll hear the audio part of it, showing that the new bird flu strain that I've been warning about a few months ago that these uh, scientists were uh, actually genetically modifying. I'm sure you remember that. And uh, one of the scientists actually were worried that this become a super weapon if it ever got out. Well, I don't know if that's the one, but I'll tell you one thing. This is pretty deadly, and it's communicable between human to human. So I'll let you listen to this right now. today about a deadly new strain of bird flu. It's already showing signs of possible, I repeat, possible human-to-human -human transmission. That usually does not happen in these bird flu situations. There were samples that were sent to the U.S. that suggest that it may be resistant to some antiviral drugs. We've been watching this uh, over the last month or so, but it seems to be taking a new turn that is troublesome. And John Roberts is on this live in Atlanta. Good morning, John. Good morning to you, Martha. Yeah, a team from the World Health Organization, including the head of the CDC's influenza division, just wrapped up a trip to China. They described the situation there as complex and severe, warning that this virus, H7N9, seems to be particularly deadly. 108 people have gotten sick so far. 22 of them have died, and they are very worried about some reports of suspected human-to-human -human transmission. Dr. Joe Brisi is a flu expert at the Centers for Disease Control, which has been diligently watching for the very first signs that this virus could be easily transmitted between people. There are three clusters of infections, which are two or three infected members of the same household, the same family members. In these cases, it's sometimes difficult to know whether one human in the family spread it to another human or they both acquired it from an infected bird they were both exposed to. So far, and this is a very, very important point, there is no evidence of what's called sustained human-to-human -human transmission, which really would be a worst-case scenario if it happened, because take a look at this. The 1918 Spanish flu pandemic, which is the benchmark by, benchmark by which all other flus are measured, 50 million people died. The death rate was 1 in 50, 1 in 50 people who got sick died. But take a look at this, H7N9. One in five people 20 who have gotten people. sick have died. So, Martha, if this thing got out, there really could be serious yeah. trouble. Boy, those are some really scary numbers, John. What about the potential for a vaccine or drugs to treat this? Well, the Centers for Disease Control, as you can imagine, is racing to create a vaccine. The, the question is, though, how effective will it be in people? And at any rate, that's still months away. But the Centers for Disease Control, you mentioned this just a second ago, did get another sample of the virus from China, ran it through its advanced molecular detection system, and found out that there were certain mutations in the virus, which, had they gone all the way, could have rendered our frontline antivirals, Tamiflu and Relenza, ineffective against this virus. Mike Shaw heads up the flu labs at the CDC. If this one had been able to, to overcome that final step, it could have become resistant to those drugs. It hadn't gotten there yet, but we could tell by looking at it that it was on its way there. That would be problematic. It would be problematic. The Centers for Disease Control also just completed work on important diagnostic kits just in time, too, because the first case of H7N9 has been detected outside of China, a man in Taiwan, Taiwan. who spent two uh, weeks traveling through news China, another country. Jiangsu province. Martha? John, thank you. Okay, guys, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I just 
I was going to show you the article, but that pretty much encompassed the article and the video. So the uh, Spanish flu in 1918 killed one in 50, and this has the potential to kill one in five. I mean, you don't have to be a uh, college graduate to figure out that's 20%. So if this thing gets really bad, you're looking at 20% of the population dead if this thing gets uh, crazy. You know, we're looking at a pandemic here. And I warned about this. I warned about this for months. If people remember, I said these these H9N7 or whatever the heck that was. H7N9 it is. H7N9 it's the uh, virus. I said these scientists are genetically making this in a lab, a secret lab. And if this thing gets out of control, if this thing gets out or by accident or by on purpose, this could be deadly. And this is what's happening right now. So I don't know what to tell people. The only thing I can tell people is spread this video around. Let people know what's going on. Uh, I guess uh, if this thing uh, gets worse, you have to uh, actually watch uh, where you go. I mean, I wouldn't go to Taiwan right now. I wouldn't go to China. But uh, hopefully this thing won't spread to the United States. So that's pretty much the uh, information I wanted to put out there. I mean, I don't usually put out a red alert, but uh, this is really, really troubling. Uh, one in five possible, uh, you know, could die if this thing gets out of hand. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up, and uh, I hope uh, I'm wrong about this. But I hope this isn't the pandemic that uh, a lot of people saw coming. Take it easy, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.